We've touched on them slightly by using different presets and a few tweaks, but I'd like to walk you through each of the HDR develop filters so you can see how they benefit your image. To do this, I'm gonna work with an image that's already been merged. If you've skipped the steps on taking bracketed photos and combining them, be sure to watch an earlier chapter. This is a native Aurora HDR file. What it contains are all of the individual pieces pre-merged together. When I open that up, you'll see that a tone mapped file comes in. In this case, it has the different brackets combined into one photo. To start, we're gonna tackle the HDR basic section. This filter makes it easy to adjust the primary settings of the image, and it's very similar to the develop tool in other software. Essentially, you have the ability to choose from different white balances. These are presets that are similar to what you might experience inside of a camera. And as you make the changes there, you'll see the color temperature of the scene can shift. In this case, I'm gonna go with cloudy. But I can manually cool or warm the shot to taste bringing out the sun tones for the warm sunset, or cooling it down as we move into the evening. I'm gonna go with a little warmer, actually. Next, we have our basic controls for tonality. Your overall exposure, and you'll see how the histogram moves. I suggest in the histogram you pay close attention. There's two little triangles you can click at either end, and this will show you red pixels for areas that are hot or burnt out, and cold pixels for shadows that are too cold or dark where the details are clipped. Now, usually you won't have many of these, but as you start to brighten up the image, you might find the need to recover highlights, to bring back areas so they don't clip, or if not the whole highlight, perhaps just the white point to bring back some of the brightest areas. And you can see that that makes it easy for recovery. Additionally, as we start to work with the shadow area, we can lift those up while putting in good contrast to the blacks. As you start to move the contrast slider, you'll notice that the histogram expands, meaning that more of the dynamic range is in use. And of course, the HDR Enhance is gonna further help that by starting to bring out some of the wider dynamic range in the image. Now, as you do this, you might start to notice some subtle details come out. And of course, as we start to enhance the HDR, spots that you didn't previously notice, little subtle details or pieces of dust, like a piece of sand here that blew onto the lens, becomes kind of visible. But the overall basic adjustment here is working quite well, and as you can see, we have very little lost information. If I'm concerned, I can further recover those highlights to make sure that nothing is clipped, and I can play with that black point ever so slightly to remove the cold pixels. Once you feel like you've got a pretty good base exposure, go ahead and turn off the clipping indicators and you can evaluate the overall image. Before we move on with this image, let's choose the crop tool. And I'm just going to adjust this here and choose a standard size. I'm gonna go with a seven by five for a print and just compensate that to bring it in a little bit ever so slightly just to recompose the photo and really get a tighter focus. Now I'll click done, and the image updates with the new settings. You'll notice here that the HDR basic tab has turned orange. That's because we've moved the sliders. I can toggle that on and off, and you see that HDR basic is where the heavy lifting is really done. You also could simply use the eyeball icon here to see the original image before tone mapping and the HDR image. And I think there's no doubt that quite a bit of detail has been brought back. Now in this case, it's a little strong, and that's a tendency that happens with HDR. So I'm gonna to tone down the HDR Enhance here so it's not quite so dramatic on the sky. There we go. And instead, use just a little bit of Smart Tone here to balance that out. And now, I think that looks a lot better. We still have great realistic color, and the details of the clouds have come out, but we don't have quite a heavy process. All right, let's move to the next adjustment. 